let's talk about the cycles of Bitcoin, right? So we see this repetitiveness of cycle. Now, you've been in the in the game long enough to to see these cycles. And, and you know, um, I think a, a very famous, um, well, not very famous, but a lot of people uh, on, on, on Twitter and YouTube and all these kinds of things, I'm not going to name names, talk about a four-year cycle. Right? And they talk about these cycles that go mm-hmm. through. And, and, you know, when you start looking back at Bitcoin's history, there's a real repetitiveness there, especially around the Bitcoin halving, isn't there, where we see this kind of taper off and then after the halving, we start to see these real kind of runs. So in your opinion, in this cycle, shall we say, um, because I do think these things run in cycles, you know, do you think that Bitcoin, I know, I know we don't like to talk about price all the time, but let's let's just talk about it just for this. Do you think it has reached, let's say, the bottom price, right? We saw a bottom price of 16000 US dollars uh, a few months ago. And, you know, um, do, you, do you feel that, you know, with the Bitcoin halving coming up and the repetitiveness of previous cycles that we've seen, you think there is a there's a real kind of bull run coming up in potentially the very near future? So I think that we um, were kind of in those like baby beginning phases of the bull run, mm. but it, it's not something that happens in a month or two. Right. And right. so we are still a long ways away from even the halving and traditionally, and again, these models can always change um, and be broken, but um, traditionally, it's not like the Bitcoin halving happens and then suddenly we're in the biggest span of the bull run. It's, you know, kind of got this like slow, slow building, slow building, slow building for, I mean, I think last time it was at least six months. You don't have to look exactly at the dates. I think there was memes going around. I remember memes going around in 2019 saying, um, or 2020 saying, you know, the year is 2030 and Bitcoin is still nine and a half thousand US dollars, you know. Um, so I think that's where we kind of are. Yeah. And I think in terms of are we at the bottom, you know, have we already seen the bottom of this bear market? Um, you know, I, I never like to rule anything out. Obviously, you know, we saw in 2020 when everything happened and the huge, you know, financial crashes and with the beginning of the pandemic and all of these things, you know, Bitcoin crashed down to like $3,500. Right. And so I do think that, you know, that's a whole nother question is, is Bitcoin correlated to traditional financial markets or is it not? And, you know, I think that that's kind of a, there's a mixed People have different opinions on that. Um, but, you know, I would never rule out that some huge world event could happen that would bring us back. But, you know, when we kind of look at the trajectory of the chart and like kind of how the price has been going, I I, I don't think that it's likely that w- unprompted it'll just randomly be 16K tomorrow. You know what I mean? And so I, I never rule out unexpected world events because this is a very unpredictable world. Um, but it does, at least from just a perspective of momentum it it feels like we've maybe kind of moved past being in that price point for a while but again you never really know but it does feel like we're in that kind of beginning stages but i think that people get really excited and they're like oh we're in the bull run and it's like we still have a long way to go before we're all really you know feeling good so we we got we got a little ways (laughs) hi this is leah thompson at gurgon crypto and you're watching think smart education